All hell of beat, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we're back for another edition of Big Bid Business. In today's video, we're discussing my top 10 summer fragrances. And when I say top 10, I mean the top 10 fragrances that I will be wearing and reaching for the most this summer. So as always, I like to give you guys a bit of perspective as it pertains to me and summer. So as most of you out there know, I reside in Southwest Florida, which means the average temperature here in the summer can reach 92 degrees. And with humidity, it feels like high 90s, low 100s. So it's hot. And I know that's hot, but it's not as hot as our video sponsors today. Our video sponsors are once again, the great company from Jill Mauer. It's called Mauer Limited. Remember I showed you guys this design here back, I don't know, a few videos ago. And for you guys out there who are stylish, the Martin Hunter. She has all types of pieces out there for you guys. Now, as I've stated before, you know, she has the main collection. You know, you want a piece from there, you know, go ahead and chalk up $80,000. But otherwise, you can go ahead and grab one of these bad boys here. And if you're looking to grab one of these because we're family hooking us up with a 15% off discount code. Matter of fact, man, I might give you guys one of these. Stay tuned to the end of the video. If you're looking for it, I'll link it below. So now that we got all that out the way, remember, this is the designer list. So without any further ado, let's hop into it. The number 10 fragrance is an aquatic take on a prototypical masculine fragrance. This fragrance comes from the house of Valentino and it's a flanker to the best-selling Valentino Womo line and this one is the flanker Valentino Womo Aqua. Now I haven't done a full review on this one yet but this one infuses that Womo DNA with some balmy freshness. Patchouli, iris and a ton of fresh notes make this one a player for me this summer. Number 10 spot, Valentino Womo Aqua. Now, I'm one of the few people out there that enjoyed this next fragrance. This one was released in 2017, and in my opinion, this one was a nice change from the offerings typically given from this house. This one comes from the house of YSL, Yves Saint Laurent, and this one is Y. To me, Y is a bright, fresh, and unapologetically bold fragrance. It has this sharpness to it that's almost metallic, but I enjoy it. Make sure you get your nose on it if you haven't done so yet, any of these fragrances that I've reviewed, I'll link them below. The number eight fragrance is a cheapie, but man, it's good. The number eight fragrance also made my 2017 summer list, and this one comes from the house of Versace, and it's Versace Man O Fresh. To me, this one is a fresh, spicy fragrance, and I personally get good performance with it, despite what its performance reputation has been in the past. This one is saffron, pepper, cardamom, mixed with some woody notes, and in my personal opinion, it's an all-around great fragrance. In the number eight spot, we got Versace Man O Fresh. Fresh. The next spot is reserved for one of the best, if not the best, fragrance from the house of John Vavados, and this one is John Vavados Artisan Pure. This one is another 2017 release, and to me, it's amazingly pure. To me, Artisan Pure is a refreshing and refined woody citrus scent. Artisan Pure works in many different situations, and one I believe will be around for quite some time. The number six fragrance is a 2018 release that doesn't get a lot of love, but it's one that I enjoy. The number six fragrance comes from Armani, and it's Armani Aqua de Jo Absolute. In my opinion, Absolute is the ADG DNA with the aquatic twist. Again, this is another fragrance that hasn't been particularly received well, but I still enjoy it. Absolute is a fresh, warm, woody aquatic and will definitely be in rotation for me this summer. Now the next fragrance was released about four or five years ago, but I officially added it to the collection just a few short months ago. It comes from the house of Hermes and it's Teta Hermes. Old Trey Fresh. To my nose, this one has an authentic orange note, which tends to be a bit more wearable than the original. Now, although the orange note in this one is a bit bitter, I still find it to be an enjoyable fragrance. It's long lasting, it sits close to the skin, and it's a great office scent. Now, the number four fragrance for my 2018 summer list is a bit of a tie because I'll be rotating between two different fragrances. The fragrances that I'll reserve for the number four spot are Invictus Aqua 2016 and Invictus Aqua 2018. As the name implies, both of these fragrances are aquatics and they work great in the summertime. As many of you guys out there know, the 2016 formulation has been discontinued and can be difficult to find. And if you do find it, it's likely at an increased cost. I personally don't feel like it's worth the inflated prices, but if you can find it under 100 bucks and make sure you pick it up, 
Otherwise, you'll be A-OK -okay picking up the 2018. Now, my next pick also comes from the House of Pocket Rabon, and it's also a 2018 release. Now, some of you may disagree with me wearing this next fragrance in the summer, but I say, let me live! The number three fragrance is One Million Lucky from Paco Rabon. Now, I've told you guys countless times on weekly fragrance rotations of how I feel about this one. I think the unboxing told you how I felt about it. I think my story time told you how I felt about this one, and this is one that many of you have been writing saying big big b i picked up and if you haven't gotten your nose on this one yet i'm not sure what you're waiting for i personally find one million lucky to be an addictive scent the compliment factor is through the roof it gets compliments 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 i don't know what else i need to tell you about this fragrance besides it gets compliments this one as i've said is already without a doubt one of my favorite pickups for 2018 and it's one that i think you should at least Get your nose on. As I've stated, I've already done the unboxing video for this one and the official review is soon to come. The number two fragrance has made many of my list videos and most recently it's made my 10 for life. You guys may already know what this one is. This one comes from the house of Chanel and the Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanc. This one is a creamy citrus fragrance which seems to be crafted for the warm weather. This one can be difficult to find so if you're looking to pick this one up, I'll link some places below where you can find it because this one is extremely difficult, like extremely difficult to find. And finally, we at the number one designer fragrance that I'll be rocking this summer. It comes from the house of Coach. And yes, you already know, this one is Coach for Men. Listen, I've been telling you guys how easy this fragrance is to wear since it released. Coach for Men is a crowd pleaser. It works well on almost any occasion, and it's on trend of what's working in the fragrance game right now. I'll link the official review below if you care to hear all my thoughts and opinions on this one, because like I said, man, this is one that is like it should have already been in your collection like i've told you months ago that you should get it right i've talked about it over and over again weekly fragrance rotations you got me going on and on and on so we made it to the end of the list so that means i'm gonna give you guys something man so again special shout out to the sponsor of today's video mauer limited and what we're also going to do is hook one of you guys up with a hunter relic necklace man these things here again are made from high quality materials man i'll leave her website linked below like i said this is her entry level line again if you're looking to get something custom made or if you're looking to shop the regular line again those products go upwards of eighty thousand dollars and i believe with the 15 percent off you can get this one as low as 70 but i'm going to give one of you guys the opportunity to win one for free if you want in on this thing all you have to do is comment below Big Beard Business Summer. And you know what? I'm going to pick one of you guys and hook you up with this one, man. I should have kept this one for myself. But I like this one a little bit more, so I'm going to make sure you guys get it. Comment below. As always, I'm your boy, Big Beard B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. This is my summer 2018 designer list. We got niche on the way. Hit the goddamn bell.